In this video I would like to show you how to recreate uh, the perspective seen in games like Tibia and Ultima 7 in Unity by using sprite sheets and tile maps. So let's start. Okay, so all I've done so far is create a new Unity 2D project and I've imported the assets which I will link in the video description. And since we're going to work with pixel art today, we're going to have to adjust some of the import settings. First of all, we're going to set the pixels per unit to 16, set the filter mode to point and also disable the compression. And then for the sprite sheets, we want to set the sprite mode to multiple. And then we're also already going to slice the walls first. These are going to be 32 by 32. We can slice them, apply that. Okay. Then let's make a tile map called walls. And in order to start drawing, we need a palette for this. Create a new palette, set the cell size to manual, and then we can drag our sprites into the palette. Okay, this uh, seems a little bit cluttered, so we can actually add a gap on the palette itself. And you can already see something's off, because if we start drawing now, we see that there's a little bit of offset, and that's because the wall tiles are actually bigger than 16 by 16 so we basically want to offset them by adjusting their pivot and we can do that by going to these sprites and then we slice them once more but now we're gonna define a custom pivot and it's gonna be in the middle of the bottom right 16 pixels of each sprite so if we slice now you can see that each sprite has its pivot in the bottom right 16 pixels. And if we apply this, you can already see that when we start drawing now, it's exactly as we expect it to be. The only thing off right now is the ordering of the sprites in the tile map. So let's, uh, let's fix that next. Try add a door and some windows. Okay, nice. The order is still not correct. We can fix this by going to the tile map and setting the sort order to top left. And it already uh, renders like we expect it to render. Let's also create a tile map for the floors. But first we need to slice this one as well. These are actually 16 by 16 and we don't really care about the pivot. So I'll just center it, apply it. So now we have four tiles, good. Create a new tile map called floors and we can drag our floors into the same palette because they're also going to be 16 by 16. Okay, so let's draw a floor. And to fix the ordering of the tile maps, we need to set the wall tile map ordering layer to one because we want the walls to have priority over the floors. Uh, let me finish this off by adding a little border like this. Okay, so that's basically all there is to it for the tile maps. Um, though at some point in your game, you're going to have entities walking around. So let's see how that goes right now. Yeah, so this isn't looking good, right? If a player is over here, you expect him to have priority over the left and the top wall here. Um, so how are we going to fix that? Well, first of all, we're going to set the player pivot to somewhere in between his feet. Since we're going to make the player uh, determine how to render based on his pivot point. So this should be sufficient. Then on the player sprite, you want to set the sprite sort point to pivot and we also want to set the player order and layer to one because we want the player to always render on top of the floor okay well still not exactly what we're looking for uh, and that's because we need to define the project the project settings of how this game is gonna determine which sprite has uh, priority over another when we're talking about rendering and we can do that in the project settings and go to graphics. We're going to define our own 
sort axis so you're gonna have to select custom axes minus one one that's good still doesn't do what we want it to and that's because we still need to set the wall style map mode to individual we want each individual cell to determine based on its pivot point of the sprite um, if it should render on top or below and that's according to uh, the project settings we just adjusted and i think we're already there so if the player is uh, lower it gets priority over the top walls and if it's more to the right it gets priority over the left walls and it also can go behind the wall and if he goes to the door you can see it's rendering as expected and that's it thanks for watching